Hello there. I'm Dr. Daniel Su. I'm an ophthalmologist with eye and retina surgeons. Today, we're going to talk about cataract. And before we begin our discussion about cataract, let's get acquainted with some of the parts of the eye. Looking at this picture, we see this transparent dome in the front of the eye. This is known as the cornea. Behind that is this colored ring, which is known as the iris. And this is what gives our eye its brown. In the center of the ring is an opening known as the pupil. And behind that is the lens. This lens changes shape and allows us to focus for distant as well as near objects. Then we have the retina, which is found at the back of the eye. When we see, light enters through the cornea and the pupil into our eye and the lens will focus that light into a sharp fine point onto the retina and that enables us to see. The commonest cause of cataract is aging and it is the commonest cause of blindness in the world. So our lens starts as a transparent lens, natural lens when we are young and it gradually becomes cloudy as we get older. This cloudiness will increase as we age so that this cataract develops a yellow color and it goes towards a brown color as it becomes worse. The cataract also thickens, much like how a tree trunk thickens as the tree gets older. So instead of being able to focus light nicely onto the retina, the cataract will now scatter light so that we're not able to see a sharp image. And this picture shows a very typical scene in Singapore. And looking at this, you see that everything's very clear, very sharp. The colors are very rich and vivid. However, as the cataract progresses, we will feel that our vision is blurred. And we might even feel that there's double vision. There is reduced contrast, which means it's difficult to differentiate between white and gray and black. Many people complain of glare, especially in bright light and it gets hard to drive, hard to read. There may even be a yellow coloration to everything which you're looking at. And people complain of needing to change their glasses frequently, yet it's not clear enough. So all of us are going to get cataract, and it is not possible to prevent cataract totally because it comes naturally with aging, just like white hair or wrinkles. So what exactly causes cataract? As I mentioned earlier, it's a big contribution comes from aging. But there are also some other causes which make cataract appear at a younger age. For example, high myopia or high degrees of short-sightedness, taking steroid medications, poor blood sugar control in diabetes, and even trauma to the eye. It may be helpful to stop smoking and to wear sunglasses as well because this might help to slow down the development of cataract but it cannot entirely prevent it. Now how do we treat cataract? I'm happy to tell you that although we can't prevent cataract we can treat it very effectively and we often first advise a change of spectacles and that might be good enough. If that is not sufficient then we can perform cataract removal with implantation of a lens into the eye. This is done as a day surgery procedure under local anesthesia with some intravenous sedation. And my patients tell me it is quite a painless procedure. It takes less than 30 minutes and has a success rate of 97 to 98%. That makes it really very good. So we remove the cloudy lens, as you can see, and we will replace this lens with an artificial lens implant. This restores vision, so it gives patients a new lease of life. And they find that they're able to do all those activities which they previously enjoyed, but the cataract had limited it. As you can see, the incisions are really very small. They are less than three millimeters. So most of them do not require stitching up at all. There is a common misconception that you have to wait till your cataract becomes very mature and your vision is very blurred before you can have surgery. But that's not the truth. In fact, you can have cataract surgery when you feel your vision is blurred and 
you know, you're just not able to carry out your normal activities. And changing your glasses or your contact lenses is just insufficient to give you clear enough vision. So that's when we can do the cataract surgery for you. And once the cataract surgery is done, the lens implant lasts forever. There is no need to do surgery again. There's no need to replace the, the lens implant or to remove it for maintenance or any kind of uh, servicing at all. So how do you know that you have cataract? Well, you should see your optometrist or an eye doctor for regular eye examinations. In fact, from the age of 50 onwards, we encourage you to do that because that's when various eye diseases associated with aging would appear. So when your vision is blurred and you have trouble with your usual activities at work or when you're driving or your leisure activities and your hobbies, you feel that there's a lot of glare. It's difficult to read your computer or the newspapers or your handphone. Come for an eye examination. Don't, you don't have to wait for your vision to be very poor. We would use specialized equipment to examine your eyes and to make diagnosis. And if we find that there's any eye disease at all that requires treatment, we can help you get better. Thank you very much for joining us today for our discussion on cataract. I am Dr. Daniel Su from Eye and Retina Surgeons, and I look forward to speaking with you again about other eye diseases. Take care and goodbye.